I'm John Marine, and you're watching John Marine Tube. Happy Halloween to all of my Halloween people. And I'm dressed up as myself. Coming to you from Houston, Texas, United States of America, and partly celebrating all of my subscribers and friends. Subscribe to my channel if you love my material. Be a fan of my material by going to MySpace or Facebook. And devote some time to breast cancer awareness, as I'll be wearing this pink wristband for all of my October videos. To see how you can help, click on more information. This is more of a commentary video rather than speculation for Gran Turismo 5. When it comes to Gran Turismo, to the Gran Turismo series in general, one of the best debuts ever was the debut of Australia. Gran Turismo 3 featured the Ford Falcon XR8 from Tickford. Gran Turismo 4 was the first to feature Holden and FPV. If you go on this certain trend, what do you think will become of other different cars and other different makes? Well, one thing I think is that Australia is severely underrepresented in the Gran Turismo series. Uh, on GTPlanet.net, I, I had a discussion about Australia in the series, and someone was talking about that they'd be skeptical to see the, the Bathurst, the Mount Panorama circuit, you know, home of the Bathurst 1000 mostly because not many people know about it. Well, I didn't know about uh, the big Nürburgring Nordschleife when it came out for Gran Turismo 4. And you know, I think that even if people don't know about it, it at least it's a good idea to feature more Australian cars and more Australian venues. And I mean, I, I seriously think that if uh, Polyphony Digital can make an effort to show more Australian venues, even if they're just photo mode locations, then I think it would really represent Australia finally in the GT series, much like Gran Turismo 5 Prologue was, a, was finally the debut of proper British facilities. You know, you know the, the, uh, the United Kingdom has its representation finally as far as tracks and cars are concerned, but when will it be Australia's turn? You know, I would love a Holden Ford Australia rivalry. I'd even love, you know, HSV and then FPV. You know, I, I would want to be a virtual Peter Brock and race around in maybe one of Peter Brock's racing cars. I mean, this Australia and New Zealand need representation in the series. You know, I, I think we need to start seeing some more Australian venues. You know, see if you can get Eastern Creek or, or Sandown or Queensland or Bathurst, go, uh, Surface Paradise, Gold Coast. Maybe even look on, into uh, Topo or Teratonga Park, which is the southernmost racetrack in the world. You know, Australia and New Zealand need some representation. And that's even if you have to have, like, street courses around places like uh, Sydney, Austra Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, Townsville, Queensland, Australia, Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, Perth, Western Australia, Australia, Auckland, New Zealand, Christchurch, New Zealand, Wellington, New Zealand, Queenstown, New Zealand, and places like that. Simply put, Gran Turismo needs better Australian representation in the series. Will we get it for Gran Turismo 5? It's hopeful, but we haven't seen much of anything yet. So, keep hoping we get some more Australian representation in the series for, for finally. My name is John Marina. Thank you for watching this video. And speaking of... Uh, fans of my of my fan sites on MySpace and Facebook. I want to salute all my friends and subscribers and such on MySpace and Facebook, including my man in Australia, Jesse, and and my friend Anna down in New Zealand. Thanks for fifty subscribers, excuse me, fifty uh members of my fan club on Facebook. I'm John Marine. take care and have an amazing day. Love and peace, baby. Take care.